Hello, my name is Richard Gibson and I'm a consulting enologist from Australia. Uh, I'm here today on behalf of Newcorp to talk about some aspects of wine bottle closures and the impact that they can have on the quality of wine in the bottle uh, after bottling and before it reaches the consumer. The quality of wine in the bottle is very, very important. Uh, winemakers may think that the winemaking process has finished when the wine is bottled, but that is not correct because the wine keeps on changing and evolving in the time between filling and the time that the consumer opens the bottle. And a lot of the factors that can occur are negative to wine quality. They are not so good. We know a lot about cork taint and the issues that can happen because of taint transfer from cork closures to wine. And this has been one of the major triggers for the change in closer usage in recent years. The issues of uh, TCA and the, and the transfer of those compounds from cork to wine are, are quite well understood. There are processes now which allow the removal of some TCA from cork, but there is still uh, the issue of, of, of corked wine in the marketplace. And this is uh, not preferred by the consumer, of course. There are some other issues that can arise in the bottle after bottling that must be managed and, and controlled to achieve best wine quality. One issue is the problem of oxidation. If the closure allows oxygen entry into the bottle, the wine can become more and more oxidative over time. The style of the wine changes and the quality, quality of the wine uh, decreases. This is also not good for the uh, quality of the wine and for the consumer. A third problem is the problem of reduction. Under some closures with very, very high oxygen barrier characteristics, such as the tin line screw cap, it is possible for wine to develop sulfitic uh, characteristics, uh, characters of reduction that are also unpleasant and not preferred by the consumer. To avoid the problems of taint and of, of reduction, uh, the synthetic closure provides a, a good option. Uh, however, synthetic closures do allow some oxygen entry into the bottle after filling, and this can create uh, an oxidative environment in, in the bottle and can give wine a short shelf life. The shelf life of wine is, is very important. It's important that the freshness of fruit characters are maintained in the bottle for the time that the bottle is in the distribution system and on the retailer's shelf. Uh, if the wine becomes too oxidised, uh, then the shelf life has been exceeded and the wine will not be appreciated by the consumer. So aspects of oxidation management are extremely important when synthetic closures are being used. And I want to talk about some of those, those factors. First of all, it's very important that the wine is bottled with sufficient concentration of antioxidants. The antioxidants, uh, such as sulphur dioxide, help to combat the negative effects of oxygen and maintain the wine freshness. So uh, it is important that the wine is bottled with uh, maybe 35, 40 milligrams per litre or more of free sulphur dioxide to help counteract the uh, effects of oxygen over time. Also, the wine must be bottled with a minimal amount of oxygen in the wine and in the bottle headspace. The wine should be bottled with less than 0.5 milligrams per litre of uh, dissolved oxygen and the oxygen level in the headspace must be kept very low through techniques such as inert gas dosing or vacuum. Of course, too, then the oxygen barrier characteristics of the synthetic closure are important in maximising shelf life as well. And so uh, the measurement of oxygen barrier is being carried out quite accurately uh, through the use of MOCON equipment and other techniques. The synthetic closures with higher oxygen barrier characteristics 
will provide maximum shelf life and maximum freshness of product in the bottle uh, as long as the winery pays close attention as well to the characteristics of the wine in the bottle, making sure that the oxygen is as low as possible in the bottle at filling. So the oxygen barrier characteristics of the synthetic closure are very important. They must be high. Uh, the oxygen transfer rate must be low to maximise wine quality in the bottle. Nucor carries out quite a lot of research and development to make sure that the closures are always improving. And one area in which a lot of research has been carried out recently is with oxygen barrier characteristics. The oxygen transfer rate of the closure, which as a, a lot of uh, wineries now know, is very important for maximising the shelf life of wine after bottling and maintaining freshness and flavour character for the consumer, which is extremely important, that quality of the wine that comes through to the consumer. The fresh closure is the result of this research and the objectives with the fresh closure were to obtain all of the well-known good qualities of uh, new cork, which include consistent and low extraction rates and no other impacts on the aroma and, and flavour of wine. But the objective was to build a closure with better oxygen barrier characteristics. And this has been achieved by making slight changes to the raw materials that are used in the closure. Uh, these raw materials uh, that are used in fresh are, all have uh, EU approvals for food contact. They're, they are all very safe to use from a food contact perspective. Uh, the structure of the closure has been changed slightly so that the cells are finer and more consistent. And these changes have led to a marked improvement in oxygen barrier characteristics over standard new cork. So that the results of the, the testing uh, that we can see in the, uh, in the following graphs, the first testing was carried out by, by Mocon machine oxygen barrier testing. This is carried out by G3 laboratories in the USA, independent testing of the closures. And this testing has shown around a 30 to 33 percent improvement in oxygen barrier characteristics. The second method of testing is using the presense system. Uh, Newcork owns a presense system and has carried out this testing in-house. The graph shows the slope of the line of oxygen accumulation under the two closures, the slope of the presens, uh, the, the presens slope of the new cork closure is more steep than the line for the fresh closure, indicating a higher oxygen ingress over time for the standard new cork improved performance of the fresh closure, again around a 30 to 33% improvement. Of course these uh, measurements are, are theoretical and, and are measuring oxygen barrier characteristics not under real conditions. Uh, these can bottle, uh, the closures are inserted into bottlenecks but it is important to see how the closures work with bottled wines under real conditions. And the last trial was carried out with uh, the cooperation of Constellation Wines in Australia where a white wine was bottled and uh, each, at each time point over for nine months, uh, six bottles of wine with each closure has been tested by the Australian Wine Research Institute for free sulphur dioxide. And it is very apparent from the results that are shown in this graph that the fresh closure has improved performance over new cork and this is indicating better retention of wine freshness, better retention of free sulphur dioxide, extended shelf life in the bottle and a better quality of wine for the consumer when he comes to open the bottle. So the important things to remember about wine bottle closures uh, there are problems that can occur in the bottle after bottling and before the wine reaches the consumer and these factors have an important effect on wine quality. 
the issues of taint, the issues of oxidation, the issues of reduction, these are all important and they must be managed effectively. Oxidation is an issue that can occur with synthetic closures if the wine is kept in the bottle for too long. Uh, it is important to maintain good bottling conditions, low oxygen in the bottle, adequate sulphur dioxide at filling, and also to use a higher oxygen barrier closure to maintain freshness and maximise shelf life. New Cork's new fresh closure has a higher oxygen barrier. It allows less oxygen in the bottle. It allows wineries to maximise shelf life, to maximise wine quality in the bottle and make sure that the consumer has the best wine possible presented to them, which must be the ultimate aim of every winemaker. Thank you.